Well, hello there, my friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Now, today we are going to be working on what is most probably the worst, best kept secret in the buttery trade. It's the hanger steak. Now, years ago, you would not have heard of this cut, but now it's becoming very, very trendy. Once was called the butcher's cut or the butcher's steak. There is one on each carcass. Now, bearing in mind that a carcass weighs on average between 320 and 360 kilos, when you think this weighs under a kilo and there's only one on each beast, you know why it's a rather special cut. Now, a great cut of meat lends itself really well to the grill, the barbecue, takes marinades really, really well. Uh, very, very flavoursome. I mean, this is from inside the carcass. It's attached to the last rib, right below the tenderloin. And the nature of the location of this looks like it's hanging, hence hanger steak or hanging steak. Right, what we're gonna do then, I'm gonna show you how to trim this out. Obviously, it's quite a decent sized piece of meat, but obviously there is sinews in there as you can see that line down there we shall separate these two steaks away which will give us two beautiful steaks to cook and we will get one in the pan so first of all then what we need to do get our knife under and just gently just gently start to trim away any of this gristle any fat so we got a nice clean steak like I said, very, very flavoursome. Hangs quite near the kidneys, so some people say it's got a, a rather mellow, offaly taste. I don't agree with that. Either way, it's a cracker. So, just gently, with our knife, either side, just cleaning off any undesirable bits. Now, you can always leave some of this fat on, Fat is flavour, but I'm gonna do the full Monty trim. Now the next one then, there's this line of sinew, just with the point of your knife, very, very gently, as you can see, just, just skimming over it, really no pressure, and pretty much that is the one side done. Again, just cleaning it up and as per usual, because I can't help it, just going to square it off and there is one hanger steak ready to rock and roll or anglais as they call it in France. Next, onto this bit, just again, just almost shaving that little bit of meat off there. And then with our knife, just under, start it off, just like that, and then grab it. And in a motion from heel to tip, if you can see there, angled up towards the sinew, just keeping it taut, taking it the whole length of that steak there. Trimming that off, trimming that off. Like I said, a little bit of fat down it, and that, and that, and then obviously this side, repeat. Just get your knife under, gently skim, and again, just taking off any undesirable bits. And there we have, from that one piece to beautiful, Hagger steaks ready to cook. Now, like all cuts like this, either really, really quickly or stew it for a long time. Either way, you're gonna get a beautiful depth of flavor. What I'm gonna do then is just very, very simply pan fry this, but it lends itself well to dry or wet marinades, you know, things like chimichurri or salsa verde, but I'm just gonna do it old school bit of oil, salt and pepper, and cook it medium rare.
So with anything like this then, we're gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna cut this long piece in half, like so. Get my tray, get some oil on it, massage it in. Always oil in the steak and not the pan. Hit it with some pepper, either side. Now it always looks like a lot of pepper, but you will lose quite a bit in the pan. And then some good old sea salt. I've got my pan on, I want it screaming hot. Because we want to hear that sizzle as soon as it hits the pan. To start that Maillard reaction. Get it nice and seared. Just putting it in the pan, pressing it down, and then we're going to leave it. So a very simple pan fry as you would any other steak or on the grill or on the barbecue. Finish with a little bit of butter, again lightly tented with foil just to retain that heat. That residual heat will keep cooking it, bring it up to your desired temperature. I want this rare to medium. I want the full beefy experience baby. How good's that looking? While my hanger gently weeps. Better get into this. Better get into this. Look at all that lovely juice. Mm, I'm afraid I've got to mop it up. Oh yeah. And that is how you want this. No more than medium rare. That is absolutely perfect. Flavour is absolutely immense. Now I am not a big fan of tenderloin or fillet. I think it is absolutely tasteless. It's overrated. It doesn't take no eating. I like steaks that have got a bit of texture, got flavor, hence why I love rump and ribeye. But this, this is something else. Look at that. Plenty of bite to it and absolutely packed with flavor. Just look at how good that is. Absolutely fantastic. Go and see your butcher, say I want a bit of your special meat. And he'll say, what you want about it? Say I want some of that Angus steak, mate. That secret, I need some in my life. Go and get some, give it a go. Just divine. Well, there you go, my dear friends. The truly, truly wonderful hanger steak really is something special. And you know, it's becoming very trendy. Like I said, tenderloin, not for me. Sirloin, you know, I can take or leave it. But a ribeye or a rump. But this has just now gone to the top of my steak chart. It's absolutely fantastic. Be sure to get some and give this a go. And if you've liked what you've seen here today on the Scott Reed Project, please click subscribe. You'll see my ugly mug come down in the corner in a minute. Uh, check me on my social media, Facebook, Scott Reed and the Scott Reed Project, and on my Twitter, at the Scott Reed Project. And please do check my back catalogue. I have got a vast back catalogue of all kinds of butchery and cookery. You know you need to see them. So until next time, take care. I am actually going to neck this now. I can't help it. All the best. Moo.